Hello. Uh, oh, sorry. Microphone was a bit. Right, sorry. Uh, right, so welcome. Just kind of quick our tour of what I've done so far. And we'll have a look from the top of the house. <laughs> That's quite proud of this floor. Completely spawn proof. <laughs> Right, as you can see, I've started working on the roof of this animal pen. It's just going to be like a big semi cylinder over the top of it. I don't know why I'm just going for circles just now. It just seems a bit more fun to use circles in a blocky environment. <laughs> it takes a crap ton of leaves though, and that's about three double chests worth of leaves so far. What are you doing up? Daft cat. Yeah. Right. So it takes about three double chest worth of leaves so far to get that made. Just at that point. As you can see, it's starting to take shape, but I still need a crap ton more to get done. I don't know why I walk over the top of the bridge instead of going through the bridge itself. <laughs> <sighs> it's starting to take a wee sick dome shape over the top of it. And I filled in most of it on the floor, and I'm not going to fill in like the whole lot of it, that would be suicidal. No, at least you'd need to do that. As you can see, I'm just like growing lots of oak trees, getting some shears, and just Taking every leave I can see. And I've got a load of there to get and whatever, so that should be enough to complete the build for me when I get them all. But I'm just like, wait, just doing the grind of getting them all. And I like using spruce wood over there, growing it up, and just melting it down in the furnaces to charcoal, and using the charcoal to make torches to light the area up. Because I'd have had to light up a lot of area to. Stop them all the mobs wandering. Did I make you sit five seconds ago? Yeah, you. And I make you sit. Right, so I've been torching up the area and it goes right back a bit. So that's well outside the zombies range for finding me. When I'm at the animal pen, but if I'm chopping in the trees they can still find me. That's fine with me if they wanted to climb the tree to get me. I'll just knock them right off. Let them take full damage. Where's that cat got to? <sighs> Seriously, these things are pain in the butt sometimes. What happened was my brother went into the nether and pissed off the zombie pigmen. Yeah, you, just you sit under a stair. Yeah, yeah. And have your head poking out just so you look like some kind of phantom cat. Yeah, so he pissed off the zombie pigmen and I came on and I didn't know. I walked into the nether and Bang, dead. <laughs> Nothing's been done here yet. I'm waiting till I get a villager so I can start trading to get diamond tools. Uh, I don't know if I showed it last time, but I fixed the portals up. So this one leads to the bottom. I had to put him in here to help out when the zombie pigmen were attacking. So this is where I'm getting the lava from for the furnaces. I'm just going down here, taking the lava, blocking off where I've took it out so it stops it flowing back in. And Buller's making this path up here for no apparent reason. Don't know why he wants to go up there, but off he goes. Keeps him happy. And the fortress is quite a bloody trick. I've got to go all the way up here. These are stone markers, like I said, they always point home. And they always should be invisible from the next stone marker. So if you ever get lost, just got to find one of these and it'll take you home. And it's quite a trek along there to find the fortress. It's actually just about where I'm pointing, about 500 blocks that direction. Well, you've got about a thousand blocks around, up, over, down, around. I've got to make a pathway over there. 
right, I'm just, what I'm going to do is dig up from the fortress to the ceiling at the same height that the portal up there is at. Mm. Eventually make a staircase up from here as well, but for just now it's two portals to get in. The bottom one leads to here, and the one at the top of the house leads to the ceiling. Since I got to the fortress, I found blaze rods and the other wart. So I started on the alchemy room. You may remember the enchanting room here. I think the only place I actually wait polished granite, that one there. Because it kind of looks off to me. There and that's my brother. He just makes tons of stuff at once and say, Just make my needs. We have a separate chest for Polish granite eventually. There we go, that looks better. And this side is the alchemy lab. I'm going to have this replaced with something I don't know what at this point, but I have to choose what I want there. And since it's all nether materials, since it's nether materials you need to make an alchemy lab, I made it out of nether materials. So I've got the quartz here. I think about changing it up. So maybe like instead of here being so like quartz blocks, could like um. Wasn't that pillars? What was that? I just saw a big blank area there. Well, ah, never mind. So I've got this little area here for water. It's just basically near a brick behind there. You only need one block of water to make a water bottle potion. A water a bottle of water. So we'll just stand here, make them. If any fall out, it's just that single block there, you can get them all back. Put them into there. It feeds it into there for you automatically, and you can just put the ingredients if when you want in order in the hopper, and it will just feed them through and make the potion for you automatically. It's not quite an automatic setup, but you just click a button and you get the potion you want. But I don't like that sort of setup anyway. I've still got to fix these and make a proper food area up. For some reason that wasn't shutting. I've still got to put signs and all these as well. But it's mostly all sorted out. Into boxes just now of what I've got. And I've still got lots of other blocks to get, like the prismarine and whatever. As so you can see, I'm making boxes for just every individual item almost. But, like this, I never expect to fill up a chest apart from emeralds. Of gold and diamonds, so I've just got a single chest for them. However, there will be emeralds. Emeralds are easy to get. I will use this chest for emeralds afterwards. This is just a miscellaneous junk chest. As you can see, I've got a skull already. First will I skill I killed a skull. With just a crappy iron sword when I'm breaking two on it. <laughs> and then every other one after that refuses to drop in. Typical luck on my end, really. Hey, where else is we at? Oh yeah. Oh, let's go sleep. First. Now I'll take you out to... What is the jungle where I've been working? Where these wee pains in the butts came from. I just went out to the jungle area to have a look around. And I picked up some fish and there's these wee cats came walking up to me. Or all sorts came walking up to me and I just thought, okay, I'll tame them. And since my brother's not been able to find a single lost a lot. <laughs> oh, that's kind of comical. I wasn't even trying, I wasn't even wanting one. I just said, oh, alright, they're here, let's tame them anyway. Uh, what happens here? Looks like a Cooper Blast. Hmm. That annoys me. 
and you don't fill in like the holes from cube blasts and things like that. And what annoys me even more is these people walk around and just fill up the top layer only. And then you're walking around and thinking, oh, it's solid ground. You dig down and you fall in a creeper hole. I don't know if it's just me though, this has a bad luck. Like, when I try to dig down, I always end up in the creeper holes. Hey. I've got to start collecting them and put them in the animal pen. Sorry, the animal pen. Right, so this is, I don't know if I should just off, this is where my brother cleared out a lot of ground to make an ocelot farming area in hopes that they'll just spawn in this area. But like I said, he's never caught one yet. And I just walked along, the chest, took some fish out, and all of a sudden there's three ocelots walking about. Well, two ocelots, and he tried to breed them to get one for himself, and it ended up as mine. <laughs> Uh, is that tree cut in half? The terrain gen in 1.8 is kind of funky. Oh, yeah, pig. So let's take that winding path through the nether and go find this fortress. Uh, it's quite a walk away, so what can we talk about? Well, we just had the Scottish independence referendum. Which was kind of comical, because I was trolling everybody on Facebook about the fact that I was not voting in the referendum, and people were saying, oh, you should vote, oh, we've got a chance to be free, and then, as soon as the, re the referendum's over, and the votes come out, no, everybody on Facebook's, oh, it was all a fix, oh, we're never allowed to, oh, we're never going to be allowed to win, we're never going to be allowed to be free, it kind of, just amuses me. Beforehand, it were all, oh, we've got this chance to be free. We'll be free. Yeah. We can be free of England. Oh, la, 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 la. And then afterwards, you know, it's all, oh, it was all a fix all along. Where, where? where am I going? I'm easily amused. <laughs> So we'll walk you out and I'll just end the bottom again. Yes. It's like I said, it's a bloody pain in the arse that trek to get out of here. But it's the only fortress I've found so far, and I've looked all over for about a 500 block radius of the actual portal. Yeah, so what was I saying? Aye, so I was trolling everybody the night before the referendum, saying I'm no voting, ha ha ha, this is all the crap. And he's saying back to me, oh no, we have the chance to be free, bro. This is the only chance we'll get to be free of England, la la la. We all vote yes, everybody will vote yes. Scotland wants to be free. It's, yeah, it just amuses me. They made it change their minds. In such a hypocritical way, from oh, we've got a chance to be free to oh, no, it was all rigged to start with. <clears throat> you can find tons of videos on the YouTube as well, you know, of how they rigged the votes. Am I going the right way? I think so. I can't remember the way to the fortress now. Uh, no, it wasn't this way. Don't think. No, 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 no. Can it have been this way? This doesn't feel familiar at all. That's because I was too busy talking. I can get back fine enough by using these guideposts, but the guideposts are everywhere, so you can't tell where I'm going until I have to get some signs put up. Said you can just use like the higher one is pointing towards where your home is, or the next guide post on the way home. Yes, yeah, so I know I've got lots of people tell me, Oh, you, you abandoned Scotland, you're not just Scotland. La 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 la. 
<laughs> no, I just seen it coming. No, but usually you ever get envious like that? They're all adamant and that they're right, and then when they're wrong, it's your fault. <laughs> Despite the fact you tell him beforehand, is oh, Lord, he's got all oh, this wood here next to fire. I did tell him that it's going to just burn in the nether with all the lava that's around, but no. Well, it must have been this way then. Feels a bit more familiar. I'll have to replace all this to make a proper road out of it. Yeah, this is starting to feel familiar. Yep. Now, what way did I go from here? There's two ways. It must be in this one. I remember going up. The fortress is just over there. But we have to take a windy road to get there. Um No. <laughs> I'm lost then, I don't know where the fortress is just now. What's from way right up to this point though, so we'll try the other road that's here. Oh, there's a smarker up there. No. <laughs> I'm lost. I don't know where my fortress was. So I put markers everywhere I went. So I went somewhere there would be a marker there. I'll have to look for it again. But at least I know it's somewhere I've been. So I should be able to follow markers to get there. The question is what markers take me there? Or is it just gunpowder? Just gunpowder. Alright, so I have no idea where my fortress is now. I'll go look for it and let you see the next time. But by the next time you see it, I should have dug a tunnel all the way out there. I don't know why you want to just put cracked stone brick only. If you mixed it in with normal stone brick and some mossy stone brick, that would look a bit better. I mean, this stuff looks like cracked brick. <coughs> and in case you're wondering, this is actually the old textures for cobblestone. <coughs> when I first started playing the game, this is the textures that was used. Yeah, so uh, these are all. It's um, I made a resource pack. It's got the, all the old alpha textures of things, like the gravel was changed, the diamond, the gold, the lapis, well it's not an alpha texture, it's a beta texture when it first got introduced, 
the life is block. Um, many of you might know it got changed about version 1.3 of the game. Uh, now he's a more raised, it's the texture looks like it's raised. Whereas this is the old texture for it, nice and smooth. And I kind of like that texture more than the newer one, so I'll just use that instead. Anyway, so I am going to end it here because I can smell my dinner and it's getting cold, it's getting overcooked. And you can all enjoy the, mo the movie, the video. Thank you for watching.